All right, one set, the number 3.10, we're incorrect to three decimal places. Now it means that three number must come after the decimal point. So we go to the fourth one, which is the six, and we add one. So that will be 3.141. This is a repeat one. What percentage of 40 is eight? And we know that we just put eight over 40 times 100 percent because percent means out of 100. So we just put it over 100 times 100 rather. And that work out to 20 percent. So that would be B. All right, next one's it. In standard notation, 208.06 written as. So how we are doing now, guys? We are at standard form, right? So we just are going to move the decimal point and carry it right here. So it will be one, two. So we move two places. So it will be 2.0806 times 10 to the number of places or move, which is two. So that would be B. Number four, what is the least number of apples that can be shared equally among 16 or 15 children? And that's 30, the lowest common multiple. Couldn't be 24, 10 can go into 24. Yeah. All right, number five says, if 200 apples is shared in the ratio two to five, the larger share is, so we just add the ratio. So we add two plus five to give us a total of seven parts. So it's gonna be two plus five. Oh, I've gone. Oh. Two plus seven. And this gives us five over seven times the total being shared, which is a three. Seventy itself one time, seventy this fifty. Five five twenty-five. So that's two fifty. So check guys, check if you have those correct, and then we can compare. All right. Look at number six now. And then I'm gonna make it guys continue. This video was done. This is the actually the 2024 paper, the latest paper. I, I, um, I, I've, I've done this video post on YouTube. All right, there are 40 students in class. Girls make up 60% of the class and 25% of the girls wear glasses. So we have to find 60% of the 40 to find out how many girls there are. So since percent mean out of 100, it's going to be 60 over 100 times the 40. I can just deal with it. Six four is twenty four. So out of the twenty four girls, only twenty five percent of them. So twenty five percent is basically a quarter. So we're just gonna divide, multiply rather. We got the part. Just gonna multiply by a quarter, which we did actually divide in. So four into four one. Point to 24 goes six times. Wow, wow. So that will be six. Yeah, man, we lay up on a class, bro. You're good? All right, number seven say, if the universal set. Mm, yeah, bro. If the universal set, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, rain again. You have to feet, man. All right, if the universal set, you is equal to that, then H is equal to that, H prime. Yeah, so guys, this means what is not in H, right? That's what complement means. So we just take out the ones in H. So that means so a one, two, and five, so that's E. Whoa. Yeah, man, link me, man, not there. All right, bro. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. It says, which of the following statement describe a set of integers from negative three to positive three. So we know, so we have to include negative three and six. So that means, oh, then put them smart, you know, this is not greater than, it should be less than, guys. So it is actually the C. All right, the final one, and then we'll go back to working. If X and Y are two finite sets such that X is equal to nine, numbering Y is equal to 10, and the intersect the union is 15, then find the intersection. So basically what they want us to do, let me just draw a diagram. As I realize it, they change up this one, but it's the same for is the answer. So this is what they asked us to find. And they said, this is nine and this one is 10. And when you combine everything, you're supposed to get, you're supposed to get 15. So what we can do now, this high formula, the number in X plus the number in Y, so it will have a nine plus 10 minus the X, I have minus the intersection. That's what gives us A union B, uh, X union B, which is this. So this now equal 15. And then we basically solve from there. Nine plus 10, 19 minus X equal 15. And then we solve for X. And that will be our answer. So we care about it, 19. So that'll be 15, take away 19, which gives us negative four. But because it's negative X, it would work out to positive four. All right, so your time again, guys. Work from 10, for those who join late. Let's go and work then, guys. And pause the video. And then um, we can pick up. All right, for 10, it's the item 10 refer to the following Venn diagram. In the Venn diagram, X represents the set of factors of 12, Y represents the set of factors of nine, the shaded region represents the set of all factors of, so we could just list the factors of nine and 12. Factors of nine, we have one, three and nine. Those are numbers that can go into Nine without a remainder. One, two, three, four, six, and twelve. So we well, come on, one and three, right? So answer that be three. One and three that be the factors of the all right. Eleven says. Which of the following period set is an example of a disjoint? Disjoint mean there's nothing common, right? There's no common. And that would be D. This is knowledge base. You can have an even and an odd number. Now right, let's look at 12. Um, this one is something that they change up a lot, you know, guys. So if, if you see something like this in exam, please ensure that you read it correctly. Um, I don't remember if, it, yeah, I think last year they gave a question, you have, you have a question like this. I did the solution, some students got one, they change up some stuff, and students did not recognize that they change up some stuff. So when they come out the exam, they were saying that I posted the, the wrong answer, some madness. But this one says the 30 students in teacher May's class of either a dog or a cat or none. So you have to look for them keyword here. Is either you have a cat or a dog or none at all. So all that who have cat of dog. All right, all students have a cat also have a dog. So let me say it there again. And they say, which of the following Venn diagram? It couldn't be this, right? As they have a disjoint set. This is saying that none of them have cat or dog. 
But remember, them say all that who have cat have a dog. So these are cat only dog only. So that would be D. As me say, them can change it up, guys. You have to read and understand it. Don't take these multiple tries for granted, you know. You can change them up. All right, 13 says, excluding sales tax, how much will be saved when a video which costs $12 is sold at 20% discount? And notice this is saved. So this is one the amount that is saved. It's basically 20% of 12, right? Twenty to one twenty is five. So it'll be twelve divided by five, which is one time. No, two times. Two five ten. I remain that two over five. So that's two fifty that'll be point four. So that's two dollars and forty cents. Number fourteen says if Eastern Caribbean two dollar fifty is equivalent to US one dollar, then Eastern Caribbean twenty dollars in US is so basically, we're just going to divide 20 by 2.5, which gives us 8. All right, let's move on to 15. The cash price of a television set is 350. When bought an higher purchase, a deposit of 35 is required, followed by 12 monthly payments of $30. So you have to pay thirty dollars for twelve months. That's basically one year. So let's see if we can match up this quickly. So first, the deposit is thirty-five dollars. So you put okay thirty-five, and then now you have twelve dollars. No, twelve months to pay thirty dollars, which work out to ten times is a three hundred plus the sixty. So that's 360. So you're gonna pay 360 over that period. But remember the deposit is a part of it. So you add up the total, which gives us 395. So the total I have purchased is 395. And then now uh, we're gonna take out the cash price from that to know the savings. So it's 350. So the subtract is from 350, which leave 45. So in that case, it would be T. All right, this one now is a little bit tedious. A company employs 20 persons as a gardener. Again, they change up this and clerks. The mean daily wage of all the employees is $22.40. If each of the 12 gardeners is, 20, is paid $26 per day, then the daily amount paid to each of the clerks is. All right, so I'm going to look at it from that standpoint here. So we, want, we need to find the aggregate score of them people here, the 12 gardeners, right? So we're going to multiply 22, 40 by 12 to find out how many them get. So 2, 0, 0, 2, 4 is 8, 2, 2 is 4, 2, 2 is 4. Put a 0 for all the space, 1, 0, 0, 1, 4, 4. One, two, two, and one, two, two. So that gives us zero, eight, eight, six, two. So originally we had what? Two decimal place. So we come to a boom. That's 268, 80. All right. So that are, that are for them one. So they said if the gardener is paid 26 per uh, me something. A company employs 20 persons as gardeners and clerk. The mean wage of all the employees is 2240. Oh, of all the employees, each of the 12 gardeners paid 26. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Here. At 26, which I'm going to by 12. 26 is 12, 2 carry 1. 2, 2 is 4 and 1, 5. One six six and one two two. So that means that uh, for them total a three ten. If 
the total garnish fees 26 per day. Then the daily amount paid to each of the eight clerks. Yeah, so we need to find the eight clerks. Yeah, but we still need this enough. You know, this should be by 20. This should be multiplied by 20 to find the aggregate. So I just told them to do that question. Eh? This should be multiplied by 20 because we need the aggregate score. So this should actually be by 20. Or would it be eight? I was working it out with eight. I've minus the Everybody answer, you know, but I was I was minus the from the twelve from the twenty person, and I and I said eight. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't remember what I got, but let me work it out. So zero, put a zero, two zero zero, two four is eight, two two is four, two two is four. So that means the aggregate score would be 448. So, so if this, if I have to do the subtract this and divide it by eight, and that would be our answer. So 448 subtract 310. That's what I give you. Eight. One from that leave three, one from that. 138, right? So it's gonna be 138 divided by the eight to get the average for the, the, the other one then. I think that's $17, yeah. Yeah, see the $17, right? As me, as me just remember the answer. So it's gonna be 138 divided by the eight. Eight into this one, eight ones, eight. No, I can't do this now. It's supposed to be six months. Six. No, two, four, eight. Yeah, yeah, it does. And then this work out to three, ten. Two, six, five. One, two, two, four, one, five. So 52, right? And then this now. One six six one two two. So that's a two five and six eleven. Three ten, yeah. So I problem. I think this is supposed to be six. Some error making. I try to pick up a week. One thirty eight. Let me get one thirty eight. Um, um, three twelve. Three twelve zero. Sir, when you add that in. Okay, I can make a little error. I think this is supposed to be six. But I know it's going to be 17, so I'm not sure where I make a little error. So that was what? $2.40 times the 20. The way to the addition with the 20, sir? 4.48. Yeah, man, 4.48, sorry. Hmm? Your mistake is over where the twenty six point twelve. Right. Oh, this should have been two. Yeah. Oh, I think this I error now. Zero plus two are two. Yeah, that are it. So this is actually six. Because I kind of remember the answer. So I don't like work papers, you know, I just don't like do it fresh. Concentrate more. Yeah. So then now eight ones eight and we subtract we get five and then boom we said you is six. It's seven fifty six. So it's seventeen dollars. All right. So we have four minutes. Let us see if we can. Sorry, sorry. If it long one now one, guys. It's not supposed to happen, man. A man annual salary is four to forty five thousand. His tax free allowance is thirteen thousand. He has to pay a tax of twenty percent on his taxable income. So basically what they're saying, the total of 45,000, but you're not gonna pay tax for 13, 13,000. So only the remainder you'll pay tax for, which is zero, 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 two, one from that leave three. So it's 32,000. So all we have to do is just find 20% of the 32,000 to give us the, 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 the taxable income, the tax payable. So, I'm going to see now. 
Um, these are one, these are five. So we are divided by five. Five into 30, six, right? That leaves 20. Five into 24. So we see that is 6,400. All right, 18 says a salesman sells a car for 10,500. If he's paid a commission of 5% on the first 10,000 and 8% on the remainder, then the total commission he received is. So, guys, you have to split it now too. So, the first 10,000 is going to be at 5%. So, we just find 5% of the 10,000. And then the second one is going to be 8% of the remainder. Now, if it's 10,005, that means 5,000 leave, right? Not, not 5,000, 500 leave, but it's 10,500. And then we add them. So this now yeah, will give us 500. And then we'll cancel this, 5,840. So we'll add this to the 540. Let's see if we can do it. number 19. A man basic wage, or a 40 hour week is 160. He's paid five dollars per hour for overtime he works. So basically, then give it the over the original amount of my work. So we just need to focus on 6.5 times the five, which is the overtime money, right? And I give it the rate already. You know? So we're not have to do a time and a half or not. We, we already know the rate. So all we have to do multiply five times 6.5. Cursor uh, each guy in the cursor. Uh, 5525, 5630, and that 32. So that's a $32.50. And we just add this to this, which gives us 192, which is D. A calculator which marks $120 is sold for a cash at 30% discount. How much change would Susan receive? if he pays for the calculator with a $30 bill. So basically, if you have paid 30% discount, it means that a 70% you actually have paid. So you just find 70% of this and you're good. Oh, I'm going to boom, 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 boom. That gives us $84. So in essence, you have paid $84 fee. But then the one that has the answer, you know, them say, how much change you have paid with a $100 bill? So it's going to be 100 minus 84, which is the 16. All right. So basically, that's it. So guys, we make it to 20. We kind of rush it. It's going to take too long for one of the questions. So sorry about that. But tomorrow, we'll pick up. Um, we pick up tomorrow, all right? And then we we'll finish it up Sunday. When is the exam again? Friday? I don't remember the day, you know. Six, the sixth, sir, the sixth of June. Which is ours? The other Friday, not this Friday, oh, the other. Not this Friday. That's how much oh, time no. we have, man. All yeah. right. All right. So take.